Hi, my name is Julia Patterson, and today I'm going to be talking about the effects of global warming. Have you ever gone on a honeymoon, a vacation, a family getaway, and you planned it to be perfect, but then out of nowhere it rains, it storms, you can't go to the beach, you can't go to the pool, you can't go outside because of the weather. Have you ever stopped to consider where this weather comes from and why it's so bad and why it's continually to get worse over the years? Global warming has increased all of these factors and has caused detrimental impact to the environment. The effects of global warming are going to play a dramatic role in the frequency and strength of hurricanes, droughts, and wildfires, as well as floods. Throughout the last decade, hurricane intensity has continued to increase and frequency has continued to rise. The storms are not only causing detrimental impact to the east coast of the United States, but have caused many fatal accidents as well. Hurricanes have an average lifespan of 14 to 21 days and can have winds as strong as 150 miles per hour. The number of hurricanes over recent years has continued to increase due to warmer ocean temperatures, which is what causes hurricanes to form. According to global warming, and climate change since the beginning of the 20th century, sea level has risen about 8 inches worldwide. The hurricane season in 2017 proved to be the worst and costliest hurricane season since 1900, with over 265 billion property damage in the United States and a tragic loss of life in Florida, Texas, and Puerto Rico. The sea level has con continued to rise over the last century due to ice caps melting because of the hotter temperatures. The temperature in the ocean has begun to increase for the same region, which again correlates with the amount of hurricanes being productive or made. In 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020 seasons all brought the strongest and most powerful Category 5 hurricanes we have seen in a long time. The intensity of these storms have broke many records, including the one in 2020 with the most named storms ever in, to occur in a single hurricane season. This is from Global Warming and Climate Change. This information helps to support the idea that hurricanes have continued to rise and because of global warming and climate change, it is going to only continue to get worse. Droughts and wildfires have also caused major destruction throughout almost every part of the United States. They have caused some sort of detrimental impact. In California, we see wildfires every year, and this is due to droughts, which again relates to climate change. With the increase in global te temperature and frequency of heat, waves droughts are becoming more common. Wildfires are always the result of a drought in 2020. The California had a record-breaking wildfire season, with the state's first Gigi fire with over 4 million acres of burned land throughout the state. This massive wildfire had led to the displacement of thousands of residents, residents destruction of property, and dozens of deaths. This is very, again, relates very closely to global warming because with the droughts it causes things to burn it really quickly it feeds the fire the connection between global warming and droughts is extremely noticeable because global warming may cause droughts and droughts are what again as i said previously feed the fire um when droughts are ex are continued for an extended period of time, it can lead to fertile land being destroyed with little vegetation, it can lead to animals and plants not being able to survive, it can cause extinction with organisms and different species, not only including animals but plants as well. Just and wildfires cause loss of vegetation which serves habitats for many animals. This shows that global warming and droughts are very, very dangerous and correlate directly to one another. Global warming and climate change have been a persistent issue for the last several decades and have only continued to worsen. The effects of global warming will have a dramatic role in the strength and frequency of hurricanes, wildfires, droughts, and floods.